beautiful Sunday morning. It's Sunday, May 21st. The year is 2023. So, I've been doing these YouTube videos now for going on a decade. Over 10 years. And sometimes I don't want to make no videos. And sometimes I have a lot I want to say in these videos. Sometimes I ain't got shit to say in these videos. But 10 years ago, I made a decision... It was a financial decision, I'm not going to lie, I was at a, a very low point, and I was trying to figure out some other uh, avenues of income, revenue, and people kept saying, you should go on YouTube and do these YouTube videos, and I was like, what is YouTube? And I was like, eh, I don't want to do no YouTube. I was, yeah, I was against it. Just like, I didn't want to get on Facebook, just like, I didn't want to get on Instagram. I wanted my privacy. I, I wasn't really a fan of all that stuff. But my pocketbooks hit rock bottom. I said, okay, let me get this YouTube shit a try. I got lucky. Just keeping it real. Right off the bat. But then my first 30 or 45 days, I made over $3,000. Just posting stupid videos back then. A lot of those videos I made back then, I have removed. I took them down. The content wasn't what I, you know, just, it was a lot of, a lot. I was in a different place, mentally and physically. Um, back then, I was, you know, I first started this channel, I was 335 pounds. Right now, I just got off the scale, I'm literally 232, I'm 100 pounds lighter, I'm 230. If you look at those videos, I was huge. Um, I was in an abusive period of, um, doing a lot of, uh, I had a lot of anger in me at that point. I was pissed because the economy was sucking, sucked for me. Everybody else was having a good time. And that was my fault too. Sometimes you gotta take responsibility, take me responsible for the fucked up ass shit that, that goes on in your life. And I take full responsibility for all the fucked up ass shit because ain't nobody did it to myself but me. And that's the thing about being mature and honest with yourself about your life and the path that you go down. But I, I, I keep trying to explain this to a lot of people. A lot of people are so stuck on yesterday. I am not the same person I was when I first started doing these videos over a decade ago. I'm not the same person I was when I was in my 20s. And I look back and cringe at that like, oh, Lord, who is that person? I'm not the same person I was in my 30s. Not the same person I was in my 40s. I mean, I'm just, we all, you're supposed to grow as you go through life. One would hope. You're supposed to. Now, I got plenty of friends who've been smoking weed for the past 15, 20 years and laid up on their ass watching Real Housewives of the Vice, Housewives of the House. I ain't got shit old ragged couch they laying on. They happy and content. That didn't, mm, yeah, people I know. Mm -hmm, some of my family. If they content with that bullshit, then so let it be. You know? A lot of y'all don't even realize that at one point I was a very religious person. I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. Even when after I left the Jehovah's Witness religion, I was still had a lot of religious thoughts and ideas in my head and would attend church sporadically. At one point, I was going pretty regularly. You know, you go through different phases in life. I remember that getting up every time going to church, go see this. And a lot of times it was for, for me, going to church was a, a motivational type of thing. It was a motivational journey. Got some pastors. So there's some excellent pastors out there. I used to love Dr. Dr. Barbara King, uh, Bishop Morton. There were a couple of people I listened to, I went to here. I'm not really a TV watching person. I sometimes find, uh, what's that white guy's name? Him, him to be very motivational. The rich white guy in Texas. The rich white guy in Texas pastor. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't think of that white man's name. Rich. I need I should have been a pastor. But um I am not the same person. And I keep trying to have to explain myself to people. I have sat and had long conversations with myself. There's some things that I have done in my life that I didn't like. That I reflect back on and say, Oh God, I wish that never happened. Why, why did I do that? You know, a lot of y'all, I've admitted to, I've explained to people that, you know, I've had my issues with anabolic steroids. 
I abused them. I went through an abusive period in my life. The aging process can be complicated. You know, you want to look your best. You know, we, we criticize all these women going to get these BBLs, but I, I understand why they're doing that. Some people have risked their lives and have died getting procedures done. I had a best friend of mine, he died after he had um, liposuction. Did he need it? Hell no. He didn't need that liposuction and had this liposuction done and had an infection set in and maybe he didn't realize he was had an infection and it, uh, it killed him. Um, you know, he... I remember that happened. I remember thinking, why was this man having his liposuction? What was going on? That he didn't need liposuction that I saw. He looked great. I have another friend who recently just had a procedure done. I keep checking on him to make sure he's okay. He went and had his chest done and all this stuff. Um, recently, just the past week, $20,000 worth of work. I said, what did you do this for? There's nothing wrong with that man's chest. It was, he just was obsessed with wanting to have his perfect chest and abs. I'm just curious to see $20,000. I said, man, that's very expensive. But that's, you know. But anyway, the purpose of this video is that I want people to clear. I'm going to clarify some things. There are some things that I did on this YouTube channel that I regret. There's some things I've said. There's some videos I've did. I've taken all that stuff down. Yeah, I've gone thoroughly through these videos and removed a lot of content. A lot of content I was making a lot of money on. I took it down. It wasn't worth it. I've had to sit and think how I want to be remembered. Because one day I won't be here because YouTube videos will still be sitting here. They're still going to be popping up and some people will still be watching them. I think about that guy that loved that, um, the guy who passed away about a year ago. Um, he had that YouTube channel where he, y'all know what I'm talking about, the black guy who, relationship guru, I can't think of his name, Kenneth, was it Kenneth? Anyway, his videos are still up there, his YouTube channel is still up, his, you know, somebody's making money off of it, he ain't, he didn't go. I want to make it clear, there was some things I did on his channel. There's some things that happened that I didn't like, that I look back on and regret. No, no different than me looking like it. That's mature, been maturing, growing older and wiser. You know, I sit out here, I love this house. I love the quiet and peace and the sereneness out here, but I don't want to be out here no more. <laughs> Enough of this shit, I want to go back to the city I can walk over to the, to the gym. A year ago, I thought, okay, I'm gonna be happy out here, be gonna be way out here. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, enough of this. And I guess the problem I have out here, and y'all probably wouldn't understand this, I am so sick of driving everywhere over here. Every time you gotta drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. When I was living in the city, Kroger was a two minute walk if I wanted to. I did occasionally walk over to that Kroger I was close by. Not often, but I did drive over there. When I did drive, it was only a one minute drive. But now it's like, you gotta go way over to this Kroger. You ain't gotta go to this Walmart. It's like, and don't let it be a car accident over here. These little two-lane roads. It's like we in the country out here. Two-lane roads out here. I've seen some bad wrecks. I said, oh, shit. Actually, the crazy part is somebody was killed in a wreck not too far from where I live at, and the roads were all closed off. And so, I don't know how that happened, but they had a head-on collision. The broad, middle of the day, cars coming down, and, and one car crossed, crossed the lane. And, man, it was a horrible wreck. And kill these people and stuff and I was thinking that and the crazy part is I never take that stretch of the road because mm -mm. they speed too much on that road I said I don't go that way I always go around that street I said oh, I'm not getting on the street I go around that street because it's just too they, they tear down that road 78 and then if, they're, they're, if you're driving down that road the speed limit about 45 miles per hour if, if that much they pull right up to your bumper and and, and literally push you up the street it's like okay so I don't go down that street as it's too the traffic they need to put speed bumps on that road to slow these people now the like, hell y'all rushing out to your death oh, good lord but i have reflected and worked very hard to change me i did it for me y'all i did it for me 
Now, some of y'all might be happy and content where you are, but I wasn't. I wasn't. I, was, I didn't want to be known as this angry, bitter person for the rest of my damn life. A lot of stuff, you know, had something to do with me abusing steroids. I told you I was 335 pounds when I started this shit. <laughs> okay, walking around like a beast. I, would go, I had the same doctor for 25 years before she retired. And she would go through my medical charts. We had 25 years of medical charts. You know, when you first came to me, you ate this. And we are here. This ain't right. And she'd be going, she would tear my ass up in that office. Blood pressure. At one point, I refused to be compliant on my blood pressure medication. I take it now. Back then, I'm going to take some apple cider vinegar and some whatever else they came out with. I will never, never forget I went to that office one time. And it was a black nurse that I used to love seeing her. She would do the vitals and stuff. And she said, your blood pressure is sky high. I said, oh, yeah, but I've been taking this apple cider vinegar. She said, oh, that's that smell. She said, nigga, you're going to die. You're you going to die and be in that grave marinating with my apple cider vinegar. She said, why do y'all do what? That ain't working. Blood pressure was sky high. We had the blood, my blood pressure under control. Everything was fine. I don't know. I just switched medication. I stopped taking medication. Did some apple cider vinegar. I don't know. Just use that to marinate some chicken, honey. I got some chicken marinating in my refrigerator. I'm going to throw on this grill today. That's the only thing apple cider vinegar is for. It is not going to lower your blood pressure. Trust me on that one. I was working out with a friend of mine yesterday. We were talking about the blood pressure medicines we were taking. <laughs> we were laughing. But we both like, we know now to take it. He said one time he had stopped taking his blood pressure medicine. He passed, was at work and passed out. I said, well, I wonder what happened here. He passed out, didn't take his blood pressure medicine. I take my medicine now. You know, I don't dilly dally on that. My health is great. I go to my doctors, I go to my appointments. I've used steroids since I was 19 years of age. I'm in excellent health. I go to my doctors, they check my panels and everything. They, you need to do this and do that. Say, okay, I'm, I do it. I'm not stubborn, I'm not stupid, I listen. Oh gosh, there were some things I did on this channel, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There some things I did I really regret. The crazy part is, gosh. I'm the type of person when I do something wrong, I'm gonna correct the issue. And when I wrong somebody, I, I, it won't sit well in my soul. I know we don't have souls, but it won't sit well with me. And I've had to reach out to people over the years. And there were some people, it's funny because there were some people that I would say we were at odds or we're best friends today. Maybe I did some stuff on my YouTube channel I regret. I reached out, we sat out, we talked, we hashed it out. I apologized. I was in the right frame of mind, y'all. I was crazy. Okay, I'm still crazy today. But I was really crazy back then. When you got a soup of cocktail of all kinds of stuff running through your bloodstream. Liquor, pills. Drugs, not drugs to get high, y'all. I never got high. I ain't got high. I'd be really insane about doing some coke and meth, y'all. Ooh, Lord, that'd be mm. uh, Excuse me, I'm crazy, but not that motherfucking crazy. Yeah, I don't even like marijuana. Can't stand it. Makes me sick. Kind of the few trials at times I tried them edibles, ooh, what a nightmare. I look at the people I know, and I know quite a few people who smoke weed, and yeah, their lives are just shot. I'm like, damn, these niggas shot out. But, but they try to live a normal life. You can't live a normal life when you get drugs, and you're constantly high, smoking weed. It's, it's just ridiculous. And they, but they fool, them, trick, they, they fool themselves into believing that they're okay and everything's fine. But it ain't okay. This is probably the best, the first, I'm at peace right now in my life. When I wasn't at peace in the past. There was such a turmoil going on in my storm head, going through my head. And I can say a lot of this stuff was brought on by my own use of anabolic steroids, abusing them, not making right decisions. 
just gung-ho. Ah, yeah, we gonna do this. Uh, yeah. You know, you live and you learn. Luckily, I've never had any health issues, even as I've abused steroids for many years. No heart issues, no lung issues, no kidney issues, no nothing. You know. But I hurt some people along the way. And I did. Not just on YouTube. Boy, but I was in my 30s, y'all. I was, I was, ooh, Lord. I don't know. I, my 30s were rough for me for some reason. My 20s and 30s. My, my 30s in particularly. Um, we all go through phases. I don't particularly like some of the stuff I did in my 30s to people. I don't like, you know, and there's no excuse. But at some point, we all have to grow up and mature. I'm 53. I don't argue with people no more, y'all. We all, when I tell y'all I don't argue with people, <laughs> I don't argue with nobody. And do what you want to do. I don't give a damn. I don't have any children. And if I do decide to have some children, I'm not going to argue with them either. I've learned, <laughs> I remember my mother used to turn off her phone at nighttime, take it off the hook. And I'm like, wow, I'm trying to reach mama. Like, Why do you take that phone off the hook? She said, I'll turn that phone She would rather take that phone off the hook and go to sleep. Guess what I do now? I turn my phone off and I go to sleep. I shoot the last little text and my little cutie pie. Good night. And, and I, leave, I leave the phone in the um, my bathroom. I don't want to hear them text messages and beeping and buzzing. And I don't. I don't. Sometimes I turn it off. Sometimes I just leave it on and put it in the bathroom, away from me, so I can sleep. We all should go through life and reflect upon who we are and make decisions that are best for us. I'm not a drug user. I don't get high. I've seen drugs destroy so many family members and friends' lives. My oldest sister had a drug addiction problem that was horrible. And gosh, it was to watch her go through that crack addiction. I had other family members who suffered from drug issues. And I said, I don't want that for me. But I've stayed far away from drugs to get you high. I don't, I don't like my brain to be <laughs> toasted and fried. I like to be able to realize I'm in the real world. And when I drink, I don't drink to get drunk either, y'all. I just drink to have a couple drinks, relax. Drink, relax, liquor just relaxes me. It makes me pee a thousand times. You take that blood pressure mess, you throw that liquor in there, you gonna be, you better be near the bathroom. You better be. That, that also might be another reason why I don't get drunk, because I'm taking blood pressure mess, everything just kind of speeds on through you. You don't you 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 want to pee. But I've worked very hard to not be the person I tell to. When you reflect over your life, am I where I want to be? I, t I had a conversation with a girl from I said, I'm tired of being poor in America. She was like, well, if you poor in America, honey, we all, we, us, 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 us folks are destitute. So it's, a, it's a struggle, y'all. Life is a struggle. I mean, if y'all think I'm happy over here paying all these damn bills, yeah, money comes in. I'm financially okay. <laughs> paying these bills ain't no fun. I try to make it. I try to break break my bills down, my car payments, and um, I do everything weekly. You know, we even rolls in there weekly, 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 weekly. So the one lump sum payment. But I'm also at a point in life for some of these bills. But it's time for some of this shit to go away couple cars ain't necessary one nice car is good if they break down get a rental maybe a backup car and you definitely don't need a 10,000 square foot house I don't know what the fuck I was thinking downsize time
go through life and you make decisions. And I want you to make a decision at me. Well, I want people to remember the good ones. Not the bad one. I don't want people to remember the stupid, dumb things that I did. I took down a hell of a lot of YouTube videos. I looked at it and said, I don't like this, take it down. I don't like this, take it down. I don't like this, take it down. Well, 10 years of the videos, I sit there and go do that. Every day I'm like a video pause. Oh, I don't like the video, take it down. I can't do any, I can't change how people feel about me because even before I had a YouTube channel, people, uh, people are going to either hate you or like you no matter what you do in life. Long before YouTube channel, YouTube, even before the internet existed. If you buy a nice house or a nice car and you think people are going to be happy for you, this is before the internet was even around. Why you buy that house? Oh, why I buy this house? Because I needed a house. I remember forget the very first house I purchased. I was so happy to have that house. It was nothing spectacular. I remember I had a swimming pool in the backyard, which I was still in that damn house. It had been paid for. In fact, on my that I paid seventy five thousand dollars for that house, seventy eight thousand, seventy five thousand, something like that, back in the nine nineteen ninety three. On that same street, they now have a house that just sold for five hundred thousand dollars. Oh Lord, I should have set my ass in that house. I have never thought that value would have came back. At one time, you could have got a house in Main Street subdivision, Deer Chase Court, Deer Chase. You could have got a house over there for thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars or less. Maybe a little bit more. Now they got houses that are three, four, and five hundred thousand dollars in Main Street subdivision in Stone Mountain. I'm like, wow, who knew? I don't think nobody knew. That just goes to show you how high this shit is. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that house sold five hundred thousand dollars. Somebody bought that house. It was beautiful renovation. And this thing that I wouldn't have done. They covered up the cedar wood on that. Cedar, I love that cedar wood on those houses over there. Some people think they dated, but you, there's a way you can update a cedar wood house without having to cover it up with vinyl. They put something on that house. I don't know. Somebody bought it from us. from New York. I mean, love it. It's like that vinyl side from there. People, I find northerners like vinyl sided houses for some reason. Low maintenance, maybe. They, they'll buy up these vinyl sided houses in a minute. And then they won't pressure wash and clean that vinyl. Be green, all mold all over the vinyl. Pressure wash that shit. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video, y'all. Life is a journey. And there are going to be ups and downs and highs and lows. But you also have to be responsible. You're responsible for your own life. Nobody else. Nobody else will me anything. I have to be cautious of what I do to my life because this is my life you know nobody else's I gotta walk in these shoes and I have to make sure that my life is something that I can be proud of and there were some things I did I wasn't too proud of when you're wrong you're wrong admit it acknowledge it correct the issue and move forward and don't do it again makes sense right at least that's my thoughts on this I made some bad decisions over the years we are if you walk around you think you think you're so perfect and you haven't made any bad decisions you need to go look in the mirror I've reflected y'all. I have gone over my life with a fine tooth comb. And there are some things that I regret. Some things I wish never happened. And there are some things I'm proud of. We're never going to make everybody happy. I just have to focus on me and make me happy. you never make everybody happy. Forget that. If you run around trying to please people, you're going to be insane. You can't please everybody. Anyway, it's a beautiful day today. This is going to get up to 80 degrees. It's supposed to. Maybe the sun has been rained last night. Maybe the sun will come on out and shine. Birds are chirping. Uh, there was something that happened here in Atlanta this week. 
and oh, there were a couple. There was some yeah, yeah, there's always these shooting incidents. There were some incidents that happened, and, and I always think about these people in the prime of their lives who get shot and killed. You know, just minding their business, not bothering nobody, living a good life, and they end up getting shot and killed, and like that guy in Detroit at that gas station. I don't understand when that guy was in that gas station he didn't end he had four dollars worth of stuff i wonder why nobody stepped forward and said i'll pay for this stuff for you man i would y'all you know what I mean? i've been in stores and people couldn't have no money and, I just, and they were i paid for it i don't know if it's a scam i don't know what i didn't care if it's a little bit of money i'll tell you i'll pay for it so we can get out of here <laughs> oh man you, you you pay for it yeah i'll pay for it ring here let me pay for yours and then ring mine up here's your receipt go that's four dollars. If somebody, if I had been in that store, I'd walk up to me and say, "Man, I'll pay for this." That was an opportunity that turned disastrous because he ended up shooting three innocent customers in that store. That man was crazy. I said, "Y'all, don't, when I see crazy people, <laughs> okay, you should be able to look at somebody. You know they're fucking crazy." The man in that store acting a damn fool, ridiculous. Nobody thought to just pay for that four dollars worth of shit that man had until y'all get on out that store and go about your business. And the stupid store and locks the man inside the store for four dollars worth of shit. What kind of foolishness is that? Man lost his life behind this bullshit. <laughs> so that's why I stay out of them ghetto gas stations. Uh, all these people going to get. <laughs> I, I, I stay out of them ghetto gas stations. I've learned. I like living, I like staying alive, living a normal life. I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on me. I'm still working on me. I'm going to gym do legs today. I said, yeah, legs are big. I'm like, what's wrong with my damn legs? I do them two, two, three times a week. Y'all yeah, know I'm not. Glad I may do them once or twice a week. Okay, once. Every other week. Yeah. Legs are tough. Look, they will be late. I like to do legs on Sunday, but anybody else in there? I don't know. I like the new gym I'm going to. Sometimes, you know, get out of get out of your. I was kind of in a slump over at LA Fitness. I was sick of that damn place. I was going. There. Sometimes you got to go to a different gym, get a different perspective. Anyway, today it is Sunday, May 21st. The year is 2023. I'm going to give me another cup of coffee. Get my day started. Go to the gym in the next few hours. So, probably the next hour or so. Try to eat something first if I can. Um, make a bowl of oatmeal. Some protein. Get my ass over to this gym. Anyway, I'm out of here today. It's Sunday, May 21st, the year 2023. I'm out. Have a beautiful Sunday, and I'll speak to you all later.